Well, very different. I mean, obviously, if you're picking a, a used car salesman, you want J.D. Vance, right? I've been in business. If I ran a car dealership, he's the guy. So you get a slick politician versus a coach, dad, uh, military veteran. And I think that really shined through. This was an overwhelming, dominating performance by J.D. Vance. I think the American people, he spoke directly to them about issues that matter. The immigration crisis, illegal immigration crisis caused by Kamala Harris as Joe Biden's open borders are. The national security crises as well as the economic crisis, the inflation that families are suffering from. Well, Tim Walz, uh, because he has a vision and he articulated that vision in plain spoken language compared to JD, who is a Yale trained, you know, microphone uh, for Donald Trump. Look, I think JD did an excellent job. I mean, he was his authentic self and he talked directly to the issues. And I think he knows like we need to go out there and talk about what we want to do for mothers, what we want to do for children. Well, the American people won the debate because they saw Kamala Harris's record exposed in a way that it rarely is. Governor Tim Walz standing there in a strong way defending our democracy, talking about the importance of a peaceful transfer of power. And J.D. Vance was there defending why he was an election denier. When asked point blank about reproductive access, he said, well, we've got to do better about communicating. He didn't answer the questions. And honestly, as women are dying, we need answers. We don't need dancing, um, and we get answers from Governor Walls.